Okay, so a simple combo with Enmu is something like this. A few attacks into one of your orbs, and a full attack string into the explosion that happens, and then you can go in for a grab. One bar for 3,100 damage is pretty good. You also have the option of ending the combo into a dash in into your aerial attack string, where you get to build some meter. If you delay the dash in a little bit, the dash in can actually be free, and then you get a hard knockdown, and 3,000 damage for one bar and a hard knockdown for building meter is pretty awesome. If you want to get more damage, you have to cancel a little bit earlier and do combos like this. Jump into the air, aerial attack string, wait for the explosion, and go for a grab. Also, in any of these combos, instead of a grab, you can go for an ultimate for an extra big chunk of damage. 3,776 damage is really, really good damage for two bars. You also have the option of using his invincible special move in his combos. which does even more damage, and you have some extra time in this combo where you have a little bit more flexibility to do some extra things. After the explosion, maybe you can dash in and do some extra mix-ups, whatever you want off of that. And off of any red attacks, I or red combos, so like your armor attack or your tilt attacks or any of your unblockables, I recommend you go for a reset instead of a combo because you're not going to get much damage from a combo anyways. So off of a red attack, the resets I recommend doing are a few hits, into your tilt special. And then off of your tilt special, you have a few options. You can either go for a fully charged armor attack, a grab, some delayed attacks into the explosion, and yeah, those three options should get you through everything. So what those options will look like, pretend I've done a full red combo, so a full armored attack, break the opponent's guard, get a full combo from the explosion. Oops, I messed that up, but that does about 4,000 damage. Going for a grab here is practically unavoidable, so if you want some guaranteed damage at the end of your combo, just go for a grab after your tilt special. And going from some delayed attacks is a tricky way of catching an opponent that tries to dash away or something, because if they try to jump or something, they'll get hit by your delayed attacks. And obviously you have they have to block the explosion, and then they get hit by your ridiculously long-ranged grab. If you want to go for resets off of your regular attacks... Whoops. If you want to go for some ridiculously covered resets that are a little bit over the top, you can do stuff like this. Because now you can see there are two bombs on the screen, so the opponent has to block the first bomb, which will like will explode basically as soon as they stand up. Um, let me show. Oops. So this is practically the same as those other co resets I was just showing before, except now it's even more covered and even more impossible to avoid. A lot of the time you won't need this, but if you're against a particularly advanced opponent, maybe they'll start dodging your other special moves. But um, going for this just makes you even more covered and makes even just the basic resets that we were doing before even more ridiculous and... ridiculous. Like that. They didn't have much time to run away from my armored special move there. I mean, my armored attack. I can go for an ultimate here and do a big chunk of damage, or go for a grab. That's about it combo-wise with Enmu, you're either going to have a red combo where you go do a short bit into a reset, and off of your resets you're either going to be doing stuff to break their guard, stuff to make them keep blocking, so your regular attacks, or just grab them with your ridiculous grab. His combos are really awesome and really flexible, and I hope you enjoy playing him. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!